Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayal. Today is Thursday, October the 9th, 2014. I bring you greetings. Greetings of the love of Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, let, let us greet one another in the love of Christ. Let us receive the love of Christ and give that to one another and to everyone throughout this day. Let the Lord utilize us as his channel of blessings, blessings of his love to everyone. How wonderful it is for us to say to people, Jesus loves you. He loved you before you were born, and he will continue to love you until you reach eternity. And his love will never depart from you. Let me invite you to continue our meditation on the gospel according to Mark chapter 4. Yes, today let us start with chapter 4. The beginning of that chapter, verses 1 through 9, is the parable of the sower. Jesus spoke a lot of parables. Pardon me. When the parable is completed, Jesus said, He who has ears, let him hear. All of us have ears. But why did he say that? He who has ears. That means he who is willing to listen. He who is wanting to listen. He who is wanting to learn. That's what it means. He who has ears, let him hear. Oh, sisters and brothers, let's cultivate a hunger and thirst to hear the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. The parable is, a sower went out to sow the seeds. He saw some, some fell on, on, the, on the pathway. And birds came and ate them. Therefore they did not produce. Some fell on the rocky place. They sprang up quickly, but because there was no root, there, there was no sand or, or dirt to, for the root to grow, they withered away. Then some fell among the thorns. The thorns, the, though the seed grew, but the thorns choked them. So they did not produce result. But some fell on good ground, and thereby they produced result 30 times, 60 times, even 100 times. The word of the Lord is given to us in parables. Let us take this parable and ask Jesus to explain this parable to us. In fact, that's what the disciples did. We will meditate on that it, uh, next tomorrow. Sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let us ask Jesus to teach us about this parable. Not only really the content of the parable, but the significance, the meaning of the parable. Primarily, let Jesus help us to understand the state of our heart, our mind, is it fertile ground for the seed of the word of God to fall in. He wants to sow the word of God into our heart. If we are desirous, wanting to receive the word of God, we can open up our heart to Jesus and he will help us to cultivate, receive the seed, and let it grow and produce result in abundance. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for giving us Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we glorify you for being born here upon earth, grew up as a fully human being and died on the cross. Oh Lord, how can we thank you enough 
for dying on the cross to pay the penalty of our sins. Oh, precious Lord, continue to live within us, instructing us, sowing in us your word, your word of life, your word of eternity. Oh, Holy Spirit, continue to give us the fire of love, fire of love for Jesus, fire of love for the Father, fire of love for all the people around us, for your kingdom. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.